So the one we really want to talk about is this one, which is how do you build a test? How do you build an experiment, which you'd expect from a chief scientist to want to do? How do you build an experiment to test whether or not we can run hotter or colder and what effect that would have on the circuit? So we did these two things. How does the load vary by the inlet temperature versus CPU? And how does the load vary by static pressure? Method for this? play around with the environmental settings inside this room with a lot of caution. And we did a calibration test and it was, what, it was in January, 25 Fahrenheit outside, snowing. And we had this data center cranked up to 90 Fahrenheit on the cold aisle and let it run all the way back down to mid 50s on the cold aisle. And we had the air pressure up high and we pushed it right down low. We did the, the entire environmental spec in a live data center with these 100 mission critical applications in there. And we had our calibration instruments in that space as well. So we have one blade chassis, 16 blades, all running Linux, all running a load test on there that we could dial in exactly what CPU we could use on there. And that's the results I'm going to share with you. <coughs> this picture here, 60 Fahrenheit, 0.4 inches worth of water column. So 0.4 inches of water column, that's a bit of a strange measure. That's basically a good breeze blowing into our cold aisle. That's about one millibars worth of positive pressure coming into the space, 0.4 inches water column. So 60 Fahrenheit, 0.4 inches. 65 Fahrenheit, 0.4, 75 at 0.2, 75 at 0.1, 78 at 0.4, 80 at 0.4, 85 at 0.4, 86 at 0.2, 89 at 0.1. Those are the tests that we ran. These curves here, this is from naught to 100% CPU utilization, and this is the power consumption of the blade chassis itself. These lines basically lay on top of each other, which I just found is absolutely amazing. So anybody that's thinking that running a data center at 85 Fahrenheit is going to consume vastly more IT load than at 65 Fahrenheit, have a look at that data. Let me break it apart a bit easier for you. Put the test down onto the bottom here, put the CPU utilization on the side here. So now what you can see is on this line here, this is, this is the blades that idle inside that facility, right away from 60 Fahrenheit to 90 Fahrenheit. This is 25% consumption, 50, 75, and 100% consumption. And you can see there is a slight trend at the end here, um, going up in the, in the 25%. There's a slight trend up here at the very high end. There's a gap missing here, by the way. I'm going to show you on the next page why that happened. We actually had to abort part of the test for this. But essentially, here's the critical message. IT load, the load from these servers, is varying by less than 5% under this range of static temperature and pressure. So that's permission to raise the temperature in your data centers without the concern that you're going to double or triple the amount of IT load in that space. 